Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. It's official. U.S. court announces whether in God we trust will remain on our money. The left has worked for many years to enforce what they see as a separation of church and state. They seem to want to eliminate God entirely from the public square. They insist that it can't be in our schools, at least for Christians, and that it cannot be on government buildings. Leftists want it out of the military too. In fact, there have been reports of the left not wanting God mentioned pretty much anywhere except in the privacy of your home or in church, and your home is sometimes in doubt here. That sentiment is not shared by the majority of Americans and it has not caught on in many instances. The left hates that God is invoked on our currency. They are going to have to learn to live with disappointment thank goodness because a recent court ruling did not go their way. In rejecting a lawsuit by 27 atheists and two atheist organizations, the U.S. Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that the motto in God we trust violates neither the U.S. Constitution's prohibition of an establishment of religion nor the guarantee of free exercise of it. From the Daily Wire The 8th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in St. Paul, Minnesota upheld the use of In God We Trust on currency after 29 atheists, children of atheists, and atheist groups claimed the motto violated their First Amendment rights. The court deemed the use of the motto constitutional in a 3-0 decision, claiming that it was not coercive and has been in long-standing use, according to Reuters. Circuit Judge Raymond Gruinder reportedly cited a 2014 Supreme Court decision that required a review of historical practices and said that the motto does not constitute an establishment of religion. He reportedly also said that the motto comports with early understandings of the Establishment Clause because our Constitution allows the government to celebrate our tradition of religious freedom. I suppose that leftists will appeal the ruling even though it was a unanimous decision that the motto was constitutional. If this goes to the Supreme Court. The left will lose on this and I'm good with that. From Yahoo While other courts have allowed the mottos use on currency, Circuit Judge Raymond Gruinder said it also did not constitute an establishment of religion under a 2014 Supreme Court decision requiring a review of historical practices. Gruinder said the Constitution lets the government celebrate our tradition of religious freedom, and that putting the motto on currency comports with early understandings of the Establishment Clause without compelling religious observance. In God We Trust began appearing on U.S. coins in 1864 during the Civil War, a period of increased religious sentiment, and was added to paper currencies by the mid-1960s. HTTPS colon slash slash www.treasury.gov slash about slash education slash pages slash in God we trust dot asks. President Dwight Eisenhower signed a law making the phrase the national motto in 1956. This ruling and the attendant opinion by the court is very damaging to the left's claim that it violates their First Amendment rights. It doesn't and never has. Judge Raymond Gruinder, an appointee of President George W. Bush, who wrote the court's opinion, noted instances from the nation's founding in which the Founding Fathers referenced God or religion. It was affirmed, in full by Judge C. Arlen Beam, who was nominated by President Reagan. For example, T. He First Congress made it an early item of business to appoint and pay official chaplains, and both the House and Senate have maintained the office virtually uninterrupted since that time, Gruinder wrote, the day after the First Amendment was proposed, Congress urged President Washington to proclaim a day of public thanksgiving and prayer to be observed by acknowledging with grateful hearts, the many and signal favors of Almighty God. Those examples and others shed light on the historical understandings of religion's role in American life, Gruinder wrote. As the Supreme Court has proclaimed time and again, he wrote, our unbroken history is replete with these kinds of official acknowledgments, which demonstrate that there is a distance between the acknowledgement of a single creator and the establishment of a religion. Convenience may lead some plaintiffs to carry cash but nothing compels them to assert their trust in God. Certainly no reasonable observer would think that the government is attempting to force citizens to express trust in God with every monetary transaction," Gruinder wrote. Behold the hysteria. Reuters is reporting, Michael Nudo, a lawyer for the plaintiffs, in an email called it utterly revolting that the history of governmental denigration of a suspect class should trump, the, principle that neutrality be the touchstone for analyzing claims under the First Amendment's Establishment Clause. Perhaps Mr. Nudo should study up a bit on constitutional law, although I doubt it would do him a bit of good here. Nudo is also known for unsuccessful litigation challenging the inclusion of under God in the U.S. Pledge of Allegiance. Tuesday's 3-0 decision upheld a December 2016 lower court ruling, though one judge, Judge Jane L. Kelly, a nominee of President Obama, refused to join part of its analysis. The Federal Appeals Court in Chicago upheld the use of In God We Trust on currency in May.
so the disappointment for the left on this issue is ongoing. It's interesting to note that Judge Gruender has been on President Trump's list of potential candidates for open Supreme Court seats. I'm beginning to really warm to this judge. Looking at his track record I think he would be a very good fit on the Supreme Court. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.